right, so there's the minivan we're trading for. I'm pretty excited about that. Get a minivan. I'm Chase. I buy storage units at auctions with my two companions, and I show you what reality TV doesn't. Welcome to Chase Thrifts. Hey, what's going on, thrifters? Today we're gonna look at some of these scooters. This is a one-off video I don't really normally do, but I uh, wanted to show you uh, a quick way to do this. I'm not really a quick way, but uh, yeah, um, we're gonna make a little uh, three-wheeled scooter. And uh, we have a client, we call him a client, um, wanting a certain amount of scooter. Um, we're doing a trade today. So I got, I got my dually right here. Um, this is kind of a fail type deal. Um, I put a 3 8 all thread through there for the uh, uh, the axle and it bent. It's just not strong enough. Um, but uh, we're going to take that apart and make a three wheeled scooter. So it's going to be um, it's going to be three wheels in the back. Anyways, I've been dealing with this guy and um, he bought a scooter for me. I've sold seven scooters in the past week. Uh, I've just been working on them constantly here and um, he wants to trade me a minivan for two scooters but he wants one I call it the Gears of War version but he calls it the Mad Max version you can be the, the decider on that um, so I'm gonna take apart the dually here and make it into the uh, the Mad Max version okay so here's the dually version uh, so what we have here is like some hollow spacers in between uh, these are some aluminum hollow spacers, and then we have um, one big uh, 3 8 all thread through here. What I'm going to do first is uh, take off the stem here, because we're going to reuse this stem on another scooter we're going to sell to the guy. Uh, he wants a pink um, Mad Max version, so we're going to take that off real quick. And I have these where I have them just as a um, flathead screwdriver. These scooters are just connected with, uh, I think, five wires. Um, so you have the main uh, motor connection right there for all the um, smart features of the motor, like a, um, whatever. And we have yellow, um, brown, and blue. You just match them up to that, that's easy to take off. That's where all the main components are. So you have your, your dashboard, and then this is the speed controller, Internal battery, external battery. This is the most valuable part of the scooter right here. Now I have them, I have one nut and one washer right there. All right, there's one tire and then I have a spacer, which I used from the original um, uh, axle. And then I made an extra small spacer right there to get a little bit more room. It's probably gonna fall, but here's the other tire. Another aluminum spacer I made. It's a custom made one. And then we can take it all off here. Take it all off right there. And you'll see we have some spacers inside here. We're gonna keep that like that. Another spacer. Another tire. Two more spacers. And then we have the all thread. It's not very ideal for a axle. You can kind of see what happened to this SOB. It just bent under my weight. <laughs> it's not a very strong piece of all thread. I went fast long, got this last minute and it's just not that great. What we're gonna do is uh, put a 10 millimeter bolt and we have three tires. We got one on each side and one in the middle. I know it's not the greatest angle, but I'm just using a lamp post for my <laughs> my tripod. Anyway, so we got this bolt right here. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. I actually cut it down a little bit. I think this is the one I used. I can't remember. We put uh, a spacer in like this. I, I'm trying to remember how I built this. And then we put this to the rear and an extra tire. Okay, so we got these two done. This is what the uh, the gears, I call it the Gears of War version right there. Uh, you have two spacers I made. 
we flipped the spacers around in the middle of the uh, trike so you can just use the same spaces you have in a normal uh, scooter flip those around and then get two aluminum spacers like that um, you can really use anything for like, tubing these are just hard and aluminum and I just put a big 10 millimeter bolt through the whole thing and uh, he wanted it on, on the, uh, the pink stem I made and there we go so we're about to uh, leave here and get, pick up that minivan and then there's just the other one right here I made for him I swapped the tops off it just takes four bolts wish I could show you more but uh, my freaking camera died so uh, let's pick up that minivan real quick throw these in the back of the truck and um, yeah we'll be all good, good and golden all right, so there's the minivan we're trading for. I'm pretty excited about that. Get a minivan. Let's go get the guy. Oh, hey there, Wanda. Hi. 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 Hey, there it is. So uh, this is the van we got. Um, 04 Toyota Sienna. Got the sweet donut tire in the front of it right there. And uh, it's a company called God Inside We Trust. I don't really know. Um, the guy I had it had a car lot, and uh, he didn't want to sell it because he knew the guy or something. I I don't really know. Anyways, I traded him two scooters for this thing, which was I guess not bad, but um, actually it unlocks and locks from the button. Yeah, it, it'll start up. It'll run. Let's get in this, this sweet thing and look at it. Um, I've already got plans for it. Uh, so our first thing was, we thought about was entering it into a demolition derby. So that'd be pretty sweet. This thing is just kind of, eh, it's kind of poopy. But it does start up, starts right up. It does sound good. It's got, it's, no, this thing's roomy as hell. Um, basically what this thing was used for was transporting patients back and forth to hospitals and like meth heads to uh, uh, methadone clinics, is what I was told. Um, so that's interesting. All the full windows work. With automatic windows. Got a nice cracking windshield. So basically what it comes down to, I traded two scooters which I could sell for $600 a piece, or $300 a piece. So it kind of turned down to, this is like a $600 vehicle. Um, and where we wanted, oh my God, look at that. That's why it's all cracking right there. It's welded. If I open this thing up, it cracks. And that's why. That's, oh my God, look at that. <laughs> Oh, so it's op you can't open it from the outside. It's missing a freaking handle. So let's open it from the inside. All right, girls, what do you think? Oh, old meth van. <laughs> See these? Oh God, look at that storage capabilities. Um, so there's actually stuff in here they left from. He just got it and they even like cleaned it out. And looks like there's a. Like a Jesus cross in here. Standard, right? Uh, <laughs> there is some kind of weird dog shaped thing. I don't want to talk about it. And some various nuts and bolts, a crayon, a speed rewards card. It's like buying a storage unit, you know? Uh, it's just dirty. It's just dirty and nasty. Um, but I want to enter it into the uh, the local demolition derby. But oh wow, look at that! Oh wow, you can get up, and whoop some ass in the back seat, and do that. But I got the title for it. It's a clean title. Uh, I just texted my buddy down at the um, car lot. Let's go for Sienna. I said, hey, um, I looked at the uh, demolition derby rules and saw that uh, they don't really allow imports and or minivans into a demolition derby, at least the one here and like that's local. 
So I uh, asked him what, he's, what he got to trade for this minivan. Um, and I'll see what he has, like a, uh, some kind of a car or something else to trade. Hey, look, there's the door handle. Found it. I wonder if it just goes back back on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Wanda, we just fixed it, didn't we? No, we didn't. It's broke somewhere right there. Anyways, um <laughs> Yeah, so I want to enter this English Derby. Just because it's fun. Or I could just sell it as it is for a thousand bucks tomorrow. Uh, but that's that's no fun. Like that's you, know, you can trade it up and make money, but uh, I wanted to enter in the Demos Derby. But minivans are hard to enter in because they just don't allow them very much and it's an import. They want American cars. Um, I could drive this around. It's got 255,000 miles on it, but you'll You'll pretty much see me dead before I'm driving around a minivan. I'm just, uh, I'm a truck guy, you know, the trucks. I, I did drive a Prius for a while, but that was my company car when I worked uh, for a corporate company. Um, let's pop the hood and see what's underneath here. I think it's got a V6 underneath. Under all this, this manliness. It does stay running. It's good i checked the oil it's good oil uh, there's not much wrong with it other than the front end is uh needs a fucking revamp so it's got a v6 3.3 liter in it it runs pretty smooth the guy just said he put 1500 dollars in for like a uh a new radiator i don't know how well this would last in the demolition derby anyway being a front wheel drive uh v6 i mean i could just see like the first thing you smash this in and like you'd be done. So I'm gonna release this video and then we can like follow up with it later on. Uh, the demolition derby that I wanted to go to that that would actually use the van is on the 7th of July. And if I could get a different car, my, my buddy that he buys cars from auctions like every day, he buys 60 or 70 cars a week. If he has something, he'll trade me for this van straight up that I can run the demolition derby, I'll do that as well. Um, I've never actually ran a demolition derby. My brother really wants to do it, and I'll let him do it. And uh, if you win, there's like a $1,500 or $1,700 price pool. So we could take a gamble on it. It might take a few hundred dollars to get it ready. And you just gotta, you gotta do like a, you know, knock all the windows out and all that good shit. Yeah. And girls, you wanna say bye? Huh? It's hanging out in the shade. It's like 90 degrees today. Yeah. You want to say bye? Yeah? Oh my god. You're so happy. All right, Bean. Come on, Bean. You want to say bye, Bean? Huh? You're smiling. You're smiling. What are you scoffing at me for? See ya.